If you accept Jesus Christ and follow after Him, He will guide you out into the wilderness. He will take you somewhere separate. You will go with Him alone so that He can teach you His ways and that you can get to know Him. He is the God of the wilderness. When God led Israel out of captivity in Egypt, He took them out into the wilderness to teach them His ways. But they never got to know His ways, and they perished in the wilderness. Only their children went through into the Promised Land. When Jesus Christ called the Apostle Paul, he took him out into the wilderness. He took him separate so that he could teach him his ways, so that the Apostle Paul could get to know Jesus Christ. We read the words of Paul in Galatians chapter 1 verse 11. For I would have you know, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man, for I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. Paul did not go to the other disciples. He did not go for Bible study. He went alone with Jesus Christ, and he received the gospel that he preached through revelation. Not from books, not from other people. I read further. For you have heard of my former manner of life in Judaism, how I used to persecute the church of God beyond measure and try to destroy it, and I was advancing in Judaism beyond any of my contemporaries among my countrymen, being more extremely zealous for my ancestral traditions. But when God, who set me apart even from my mother's womb and called me through His grace, was pleased to reveal His Son in me, so that I might preach Him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately consult with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away to Arabia and returned once more to Damascus. Then, three years later, I went up to Jerusalem to become acquainted with Cephas and stayed with him for fifteen days. But I did not see any other of the apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Now, in what I am writing you, I assure you before God that I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia. I was still unknown by sight to the churches of Judea, which were in Christ. But only they kept on hearing, He who once persecuted us is now preaching the faith which He once tried to destroy, and they were glorifying God because of me. Have you been with Jesus in the wilderness? Have you got to know Him for real? Did you receive revelation from Jesus Christ? If you have not been with Jesus, you don't know Him. You cannot know Jesus through fellowship with other Christians. You cannot know Him through your Bible study. If you have not been alone with Him and were not taught by Him, you do not know Him. Jesus Christ is the God of the wilderness. He is the teacher of those who seek Him and who follow Him. They are the ones who get to know Him. The ones who follow Him into the wilderness. I'm not talking about a physical wilderness. I'm talking about being alone with Jesus. 
Because if you follow Jesus Christ, you will be rejected by the world. If you do not go alone with Jesus Christ and be taught by Him, you will not get to know Him. You might be among other people, your family, the people that you work with. You will not go out of the world, but you will go out of the fellowship of men and get into the fellowship of Christ to truly get to know Him. Have you been in the wilderness with Jesus Christ? Have you come to truly know Him? May Jesus bless you.